Over at the fifth world number one Scotty Scheffler who really has not played much golf at all since the Ryder Cup. Zero. Zero. <laughs> He's played a little pickleball. Yeah I talked to him beforehand but oh, man what a good shot with the wind hard out of the left at the fifth but trying to fix that backstroke a little bit so he doesn't manipulate on the way through less hands more arms and shoulders. 25% of the field here he's working on. <laughs> Just started with uh, Scotty Scheffler before the Ryder Cup, which we weren't too happy with him being an English guy, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> Scotty looks, uh, looks to be on the right track. Excellent, excellent. Again, always look at the flag over the end of the year. To the 10th, Scotty Scheffler showing off his short game. Or at least he's hoping to. Scotty Scheffler, he's turned it around. He was over par about an hour and a half ago. Did he do it again? He did. A bit of a bonus birdie there for the number one player in the world at 13. That's good to hear. Eagle attempt for Scheffler at 15. Two putt birdie it'll be for world number one. And he'll get himself back to two under. A little bit up and down day for Scheffler as well, who hasn't played much golf. He obviously enjoys playing here second the last couple of years. And yeah. another good putt. Good putting performance out of him yeah. today. But he took all that time off after the Ryder Cup. Hasn't played any golf whatsoever. Back at the third for Scheffler. Second shot at this par five. Yeah, these par fives are really there to be taken advantage of today. As I say, four out of the five are playing downwind. So we're going to see a number of eagles today. One of the reasons for the lower scoring we've seen so nearly play today. And his putting has looked good since working with Phil Kenyon and kind of trying to get a little bit more at ease with that flat stick Kurt definitely and that ball's coming out of the center of the face now as opposed to occasionally out of the heel that he was struggling with in the past so it's definitely gotten better Boy, this will test your skills right here going to bump it into that hill it's really the only shot he has there off of that tight lie it's a little bit of a, a sketchy area as you look at Scheffler here for birdie at the seventh this was while we were away so Scheffler and Morikawa both make birdies at the seventh so and 70 odd yards all right third shot now at the eighth for Scheffler some pressure to get this up and down oh. for <laughs> bogey and it's a good thing it hit the hole or that was going probably eight feet by well, he's moved it a long way up this hole in two I haven't seen many this close to the green. Can he take advantage? Yeah, yeah not too bad. He indeed moves it to six under, so he's in that tie for second. Yeah, this is an accessible pin here. This little bit of a backstop behind the flag. Yeah, excellent there. Real strength of his game is the arm play. What's amazing at 13 with that accessible hole location. Looked right in the middle. Okay. Center cut. Beautifully done. Oh, he absolutely smoked it just right at the pin. On that upslope, though, that's going to be a pretty good leave. Oh, yeah. oh that's just hole. not kind. <laughs> that's a good break. That's the second time that's happened to him today when he was going a good 15 feet by and the hole got in the way. Speed on top of this leaderboard with Scheffler, but this to jump out ahead for Scotty. With a beautiful up and down. And so Scheffler reaches eight under. With four holes left. Back at 15, second for Scheffler. Just 186 left, second to this par five. Yeah, hidden, the flag sticks way left over, you know, hidden by the dunes. So he is out to the right. Just a really smart play. That's good course management right there. Yeah, it must be so difficult to reel back because you're only hitting a nine iron second shot in there. And Scotty Scheffler over at 15 for Eagle. If his, this part of the game continues to improve with uh, 
working with Phil Kenyon and uh, get some confidence in that putter. I mean, with his ball striking, it could be an incredible season, incredible year here in 24 coming up for him. Yeah, I mean, there's, the record this year is just simply sensational in terms of top 10, 17 top 10s in this game. So many skill sets needed, such mental focus needed. Well, he can ask Tiger Woods what's it like, what it's like to stay there. <laughs> There's the TrackMan technology helping you out with that shot. Okay. Tiger was world study. number one, Steve, a total of 11 different times for a record 682 total weeks. 682? Yeah. Including 264 weeks in a row. Six under. I mean, he's, he's there. After a rough start, three bogeys in the first four holes, Steve, for Herman. Scheffler trying to get to double digits under par and does. So, Scotty. Dog leg left, par five. A little slip, but I think we're kind of accustomed to seeing a slight slip from Scotty from time to time. We've documented it through the years. It is amazing to watch that footwork. Oh, that's so good. He landed it in the literally in a hula hoop of the only place you could to get it close to this whole location. What a shot. What a result. Scheffler, we know the ball striking is there. Will he make that eagle putt when we come back to get to 11 under? And that gives him a two shot lead to 11 under par. Goes Scotty. That was such a well played par five. You like to finish it right on that fairway waste bunker line, which is exactly where it landed. We've seen players hit irons into this screen today. Mm. It was like watching Michelangelo paint. It's robotic. He looked a little late on that one trying to turn it. That's still a good position. Uphill chip with his third. Oh, well, you called it. And a really good shot at another birdie. He will likely make that. And Scotty Scheffler moves to 12 under par. He's going to be trying to cover that right side of the bunker and leave himself a really nice angle to that left hole. Now just stay right there. And it's going to run down this ridge. It all depends on the lie, but he's going to have plenty of green to work with. One of the great short games in the sport. Let's see what happens here. Played Imagination, the, everything. Yeah, played the bump. It's the safe play. I, I was a little surprised he didn't go a little up with that. Must not have loved the lie. No, oh, he makes another one to a Baker's dozen under par and a three shot lead. Smiley Kaufman has joined this group. And this is a beautiful high draw, just like you said, Kurt, just right of the bunker. Absolute perfect drive. And just another, you know, another fairway, literally five fairways with the wind that was blowing the first two days. It was a difficult driving course at times, and he's only missed five fairways. Scheffler now at nine. Here's the guy that's played the par fives well today, but this is bailed out left. This is in that area. It's going to be a tough up and down, guys. Uh, did he get it too far up there where he's not going to have an angle? Well, Ted likes it. How would you agree? Yeah, that? That, that was a smart shot. It's a lethal combination. Ball striking, always been elite, and Scheffler figuring out how to get it in the hole on the greens. As hard of a hole location as I have seen today, back into the breeze. And this is a five iron on a very aggressive line. Really good. That's really, really, really good there. That's why he's one of the best iron players in the game. This one a little longer than that. Oh, man, drops it in. That was the second closest tee shot at 12. Sam Burns only 
battered Scheffler with 10 feet 1 inch. So that was a birdie from 13 feet 10 inches. Yeah, he made a point of that. Said he's just doing too many things too well not to break into the wind call. Scheffler off the tee at 15. Oh, this is a beauty. I was talking to Max Home after the round yesterday. He said, pretty much if you don't fall asleep, you should make a four on this hole. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a Max quote. <laughs> yeah. Boy, superb drive I can play there. that in three over par. Pretty aggressive. Oh, and really good, Smiley. That is a great second shot. Yeah. Made some changes with Phil Kenyon, a bigger grip on there. This is via John Wood, who checked in with Todd Scott, Teddy Scott about this. But yeah, and another putt. Jeez, he's putting so well. So they cut an inch and a half off that putter, a bigger grip. He said, you read greens great. In Justin Thomas's world. Here's Scheffler's third over at the tough 16th. And that was a great lie that he drew and a, a great shot as well. I mean, that was one where you could easily have chunked it in the bunker. Great to leave yourself a pretty good look here for par. See if Scheffler can pull out of here with a par at 16. Yeah, just a little bit of a right to left putt. Oh, yeah. I mean, I know it's a small sample size and it's an unofficial event this week, but his stroke has changed considerably. He's hit in the middle of the face every time this week. If that continues, look out. And this is seven iron way up in the air, cutting off the TV tower looks perfect. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant there from Scheffler. That's exactly the kind of shot that Woods would have played at his peak. And our 18th tower watching world number one. Boy, sorry, Dan. Just a great spot to leave his second shot on this par five, and that is going to be an easy birdie. Really well played second shot to the right spot. Playing into the wind today. This hole is going to take every inch of his power to get over the bunker at 340. This is overcut over to the right side. Be fine today, just want to clarify yeah. what I was just saying. You can use uh, a device on the putting green, but yeah. you cannot write Don't that information that you learned from the putting green. Uh. Oh, oh, man, it almost dropped down. That's great break. It caught the, the edge of the fringe and kind of shot it forward. It's going to be a tap-in birdie for Scheffler. Back-to-back -back birdies. This almost went down for a two. Ted Scott just walked past me, Scotty's caddy, and said, that's just good caddy. And I told him to go right at it. <laughs> <laughs> so after making five straight pars, Scheffler goes birdie birdie at six and seven. He's got a plan. And process driven plan. That makes a whole lot of difference. Is that the latest? Mm. Oh, man. Says he's got a line on the new putter on top, helps me line it up. They just try to keep it as simple as possible. I think, you know, I think this week, although it's an unofficial event, they get world ranking points, of course, but I think this goes a long way in helping him in, as far as the confidence level. Little runway. Great right to left wind to hold something with his cut. This is at the right edge of the green, staying right there. Almost. That's a really good spot, though. He's got all kinds of green to work with. It's going to stay on a slight upslope. Yeah, yeah, out of that lie, that is a 10 out of 10. Yeah, very good from Scheffler. And importantly, he was coming from the right side of the green there. Nice contact on the ball, getting grip with the first bounce and then releasing slowly down the hill. No problem. Beautiful up and down for Scheffler to stretch the lead back to three. Those are the kind of putts once in a while. Like that's another good one. Up the right side as well. I've seen a number of players lose balls up the left. I mean, this is what I'm saying. He's playing away from trouble. And even though it's not in the middle of the fairway, it's in the right section up the right-hand side and away from the danger. Definitely looking a little left. Just left of the flag. Good looking shot if it's the right number. But Great shot, bro. It's oh, just man. precision. Yeah. That's another, so good. another example so of cute. course management and on the right side of the flag. That's what builds the confidence. And every day you go on the range, you're putting on the same thing. You're putting in the same practice, doing the same processes. Oh. Nonetheless, it's going to be an important birdie. 
Yeah, just to tap in, he really made that hole look easy. One thing that hasn't changed with Scheffler since he's been a little kid is his coach, Randy Smith, back at Royal Oaks Country Club in Dallas. And this is nine iron, so he's gonna loft, throw this one way up in the air, get every bit of help he can out of that breeze. Now, what else can you say? <laughs> I mean, there's no backing off with Scotty Scheffler. He is so dialed in with his irons. Final round last year, the second in the third rounds this year. Great swing, Chris. Uh, this might be a yard right in the center. We'll see. Maybe a yard left of the center. <laughs> right. Finishing like the class player that he is. Yep. It's been a great performance this week from him. It may change with this, with this new putting routine. Exactly. I mean, he can just pull away from the field convincingly in a lot more consistent manner. He's just going to put this thing away. Well, and that'll test her to finish off his tournament. And there's the breakthrough at Tigers Tournament. Scotty Scheffler coming off one of the best ball striking seasons in tour history this year. Puts it all together in his third trip to the Bahamas. And that bodes well for world number one to cruise into 2024. With all that confidence, we showed you the picture of Meredith consoling him in Rome. This is a much different embrace at the Bahamas.